Welcome, uh, Dr. van uh, Nimwegen, and thank you very much for coming here to discuss um, your paper, mm -hmm. um, The Impact of uh, Primary Shogun Syndrome on Female Sexual Dysfunction. Um, really interesting paper. Um, so can you elaborate on the background of this study? Uh, yes. Um, Shogun, uh, women with Shogun are known to have more vaginal sicker symptoms, uh, so dryness symptoms, and also uh, complaints of dyspareunia, pain during intercourse. And um, although this has been no known for a long time, um, the, their sexual health has been neglected as a, a topic for research uh, for a long time. While interest in sexual health in rheumatological diseases in general has increased in a few, uh, last few years. So we wanted to look at sexual uh, function in uh, women with children compared to a healthy control group mm -hmm. and then look at sexual function as a whole instead of only vaginal dryness and dyspareunia symptoms. Right. So this was a, a cross-sectional study in how many patients and how many controls? We included uh, 46 patients and 43 controls. Okay. And um, so I'm curious about the results. What were the kind of key findings of your study? Uh, well, an important finding was that indeed sexual function was uh, impaired in mm -hmm. uh, Sjögren uh, syndrome compared to a healthy control group and not only in the domain of lubrication but also in the domains of desire, arousal, orgasm and also uh, uh, pain. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we also saw was that uh, sexual, sexual distress, so distress caused by their sexual dysfunction was increased in uh, women with Sjögren and uh, that they were uh, sexually active less, less often than mm -hmm. controls. Mm -hmm. And uh, sexual dysfunction in patients was correlated with uh, symptoms of uh, Sjögren as measured by the ESPRI. Okay. And it uh, was also correlated with symptoms of fatigue and symptoms uh, of depression. Right, but it was not correlated with the um, other measure for no. Sjögren's We used uh, two measurements yeah. of uh, Sjögren disease activity, the ESPRI yeah. and the STI. The ESPRI is a, a subjective symptom score, mm -hmm. so the, uh, how patients experience their uh, symptoms. Mm -hmm. And the STI is an objective measurement of mm -hmm. uh, disease activity, systemic disease activity in Sjögren. Mm -hmm. And uh, the questionnaire we used for sexual uh, function, the FSFI, is also a measurement of uh, how patients experience their sexual health. Mm -hmm. So we expected this to be correlated with the ESPRI. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the, we are not surprised that it, it, you know, it did not uh, correlate with the SDI because this is mm. a completely different measurements. Right, right. And the SPRI and the SDI are not correlated uh, among uh, each other also. Right, right. Okay, that's clear. So, um, in terms of you know, relevance for clinical practice, do mm -hmm. you think this study um, has any potential clinical implications? And if so, um, has your own uh, clinical practice uh, been changed as a result? Uh, well, an important finding in this study was that more than half of the patients uh, with Sjögren had never discussed sexual function with their rheumatologist. Mm -hmm. uh, so we think that it is, is an area uh, which we can improve. Mm -hmm. um, we already asked patients whether they had vaginal sicker symptoms in mm -hmm. our uh, uh, group. Uh, in the UMCG in uh, Groningen we have a, a Sjögren expertise center, so we have a mm -hmm. lot of patients with Sjögren. And we also try now to be more aware of uh, possible sexual dysfunction and mm -hmm. also to get this message to the patients mm -hmm. because once you have raised the topic, patients feel more comfortable discussing this mm -hmm. with uh, their physician and acknowledgement of this complaint is already a mm -hmm. large, uh, of large help for the patients. Mm -hmm. So, uh, do you um, refer more patients to gynecologists, um, your selected patients, um, because of this? Uh, well, we could. Um, some of the symptoms, like the vaginal sicka symptoms, can be uh, alleviated by symptomatic treatment with mm -hmm. uh, vaginal moisturizers, so mm -hmm. it's not always necessary to yeah. refer. Mm -hmm. But if patients have, for example, many vaginal infections due to mm -hmm. the dryness, or have uh, uh, sexual problems, then referral to a gynecologist or sexuologist can mm. be uh, helpful. Right, right. So we do sometimes mm. refer mm. patients. Yeah. Okay. Well, I thought this was a, a really interesting study. Uh, thank thank you. you very much for coming, and uh, I encourage uh, all the readers of, uh, or sorry, all the viewers of, of this video to also read the paper which was published online in Rheumatology. Thank you very much. Thank you.